Hey guys, John here. So today's video, we're inside Avenger 2 and we're checking out the new vowel filter. Now make sure to update to 2.1.0 because that's when this thing is inside your software. So make sure to update. So this thing is really cool because you can really make some interesting vocal sounds. Now, I was always a big fan of Halo, especially that theme song. So I was like, let me try to see if I can get kind of close to that. So this one I called the Halo Formant. <laughs> Pretty cool. So there's this guy on YouTube who is in like a hallway and the reverb in there is really wild. And he just sings this song or this melody and it just sounds so cool. Maybe I'll link it down below. It's got so many views, but every so often I kind of come back to him like that's that's good. That's good stuff right there. So I made this one, which is kind of fun to play with. Now, if you look at this thing here, there's a lot of cool stuff to go through. We're going to plan to play with this throughout this video. But so I had the kind of a female vocal, which is kind of funny. The preview makes it sound interesting, but something kind of like this. Yes, yeah, so it's all kind of like dreamy and washy, right? So here's uh, vocal number two. And this one's kind of interesting. Let's turn that off real quick. Uh, Definitely a lot of fun. And then in this one I also did as well this distant formant choir, which is, it's a lot of fun to play with just one module here. Now this one here I made a while ago, which is not actually using this thing here. This is, this, as you can see, this is a sample. However, you can make a saw wave, put a lot of unison on it, run it through that vocal or that vowel filter and really make some interesting stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's go to menu, initialize, and we have a fresh patch here and we have our saw wave. So something I kind of like doing for these things is getting a lot of information or a lot of signal to push through that uh, that filter. So if you right click this here, we can so we have our whole entire menu here going up. Now, if we look here under the modulation, we are going to find the vowel filter kind of close to the bottom. So we have this vowel filter. Now the first thing, let's kind of turn this off for one second. We have our saw wave, let's give it full unison here. And let's scroll all the way down to seven voices. Do have something like that? Maybe detune it a little bit. Okay, so we have a good amount of information and let's give it some release, that always helps. So now we have something to kind of push through this guy. So if we turn this on, and this is the default preset. <laughs> it already sounds like a voice, which is kind of cool. So what I kind of discovered as well is like, I wonder what would happen if we put some noise in here and it kind of gives it a little bit of an interesting breathy sound. And then we right click here. <laughs> Do you kind of notice that <sighs> kind of go in there? It almost sounds like someone's like singing. There's that vocal form, but there's also a breath behind it, which is kind of cool. Also kind of creepy, which is a lot of fun to play with. Right, so you can make some weird kind of like whispery breathy sounds with this as well. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so we have something kind of like this here. Now, if we look at this here, we have vowel one, two, three, four, and five. Now we have a lot of choices, right? So this by default is A, E, I, O, and U, right? The Obviously the vowels, <laughs> sometimes Y as they used to say. I don't think that's a thing anymore. Maybe it is, I don't know. But so we have vowel one over here. So we have this first one here. And we have these male A, E, I, O, and U, which are these default ones selected here. Now, some of the cooler ones too, as well, we have this VP A and this VP female A as well. So we can change this first one to this male, which sounds drastically different. And what's kind of interesting to do as well, let's say maybe the first one, let's pick the make A and the second one, let's go to the uh, the VP one. Uh, and we can change this fader here, which kind of morphs between these different vowels. Uh, and we can always shift these as well to kind of find that right tone for us.
Maybe that's something that we'd like. Now, with a vocal sound, they don't really have that much of an attack. So maybe we want to increase this attack a little bit here and give it kind of a curve with our right click. So that's a little bit more natural there. And we can always right click this as well, maybe add a little bit of a delay and then maybe some root verb bring down the decay just a bit like that. So that's kind of fun here as well. Maybe we can dial back the mix just a little bit for that reverb. But yeah, so in here we can do all these sorts of different vowels here and you can fade in between these. If we want a little bit more brightness, we can do that. Now maybe let's go select this female A and then maybe let's check the, uh, maybe the O. Let's see how that kind of forms through. So now this is a good point to actually bring up this out game because as we're doing these different types of these formants, right, we're gonna get some resonance different different peaks, right? So it's easy to to clip with this. So it's really nice that there's an out game here that we can kind of just dial back a little bit in case it gets a little too much. Let's bring out that noise here. And down here we have this mix knob so we can go 100%, so it's really just processing this signal all the way through the vowel filter. Now, if this is a voice, right, maybe we want some vibrato, so we can go up here to the vibrato, maybe give it a certain amount. See, that maybe might be too much, so we can dial this back down here. Now, what's nice is we also have the fade in knob here because whenever someone sings, they don't start their note and just start right going right in the vibrato. That would be kind of weird. So we can always fade this in just a little bit. Maybe slow it down if we want to, but generally this default value is pretty good for the most part. So you can make some pretty cool patches. Now, something that I do want to point out that I did with this Halo patch, right? So it kind of almost switches the formants, right? So you're kind of going from like a ah, and then maybe an O, or if you want to do that, right? So you'd want to pick your different vowels. So like here we have A, we have O, we have um, I as well. So maybe depending on how long we want this modulation to go, we can reach for this fader and kind of put some modulation on there to slowly change the vowels or fade between them over time. So it's kind of like a vocal actually doing vocal things. <laughs> Now this is definitely a knob you'd probably want to modulate on the slower side, but yeah, that's definitely how this uh, this effect module works. And what's really cool as well, if we click this down here, we have quite a few different stuff to go through, which is kind of nice. So we can click here, let's say open Oz. Let's bring down our out gain. And we can fade in between these. And we can see here on this preset, so we have all these different A's, right? Obviously, open all that makes sense. But here on these different shifts, we can see that this this is edited. There's, they're not all at the same. So they're kind of moving these formants. Definitely pretty cool there. The next one we have is the sweeps off. That would be pretty cool actually. But yeah, so let's see, <laughs> umlaut.
Yeah, yeah when this when this just came out, I sat there and I was playing with this almost the entire night. And I was ha- had my headphones on and I was just kind of like playing some chords, playing some notes, and kind of almost meditating with the synth. That might be kind of weird, but it was very uh, it's quite an enlightening ex- experience, as they say. <laughs> And to me, I really like this one because not all vowel filters sound the same. Like there's different synthesizers out there. Some are okay. Some are absolute garbage. Some are excellent. And it's kind of like diff- with different filters in general, right? It's like some synthesizers have really, na- really nice filters. Some of them are like, yeah, it's okay. This one, you know, some people, some people say plastic. I don't really know what that means exactly. But yeah, so they're not all the same thing. They try to do the same thing, but they don't always sound the same. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. So if you go back to this Halo form, I kind of want to show you that before we kind of wrap this video up here. So on this Velen filter, here's just a little bit of modulation going right over here. And if we right click, we can see this is LFO1. Obviously, it's the only, <laughs> it's only uh, the connection I made here in the Matrix, right? So we have LFO1, and it kind of changes slowly as we play a note. Oh. So if we do the whole melody again. So it's it's not necessarily staying on that same form, and we're kind of slowly moving to make it sound a little bit more realistic, right? So that's kind of the thought process behind there, and we obviously put like a chorus, compressor, delay, and some root verb as well. So definitely check out this module; it's a lot of fun, and that's one thing that's kind of nice in Avengers. Like you can you can open up a certain effect and just make an entire patch just based on that. Like the quantum, you can do so many things with just that module, and maybe add some other effects to kind of spice it up or work in tandem with things like that. So yeah, make sure to update, check this out, and make some cool presets, and just have fun. It sounds cool, and there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. So thank you so much for watching. Play with this thing. Yeah, again, play with this thing. All right, we're going to stop the video there.